What's great about 301 is that it opens up with this wedding bliss. Somebody's getting married and you don't know who. You know, three single ladies running around, white lingerie, it could be any one of us. And it's neither of us. <laughs> it's Cassie's character um, who's getting married and we're, you know, we have this beautiful elaborate wedding. And then you kind of break into what's, you know, you get to catch up with each character. <laughs> hey, I missed you guys, hi. Long time no talk. What we also see episode one of this season is Raquel meets a very good looking, charming man by the name of Alec. I'm here for a wedding tour. Oh, nice. I love weddings. Free food, free drinks, electric slide. Mmm. Beautiful women. Be careful, I might ask you to be my date. Who she surprisingly kind of wants to entertain, but you know, she realizes pretty quickly on it she should probably take it slow. She needs to focus on herself and needs to focus on everything else that's going on and kind of needs to leave guys alone for a little bit. In the first episode, Felicia wants April to steal Epic from Hank. There's an artist I've got my eye on, an up-and-comer. His name is Epic, and right now he's being rep by Hank Hartley. Oh, right, right, right. I've heard great things about Hank. Oh, yeah, me too. You need to steal his client. She knows that's a no-no. It's just, it's just a general rule. You don't steal other people's clients. She feels bad about it. She has integrity. She, she doesn't want to do it. Oh, don't worry. She'll never be able to pull it off. Felicia is playing her, she realizes, and she wants to prove herself. Here's the thing. Bottom line, you can't beat Felicia. If she wants Epic, she's going to get him. So your best option is to share Epic with me. She gets very crafty, and she figures out a way for the situation to work in everyone's favor. In this episode, we see Keisha really falling prey to love in a great way, because this man she's been loving for a while, and she's just now submitting to it. It's okay to be in love. It's okay for someone to love you and you to love them back at the same damn time. Man, it feels good to be back home, huh? Yes, it does. But don't worry. I have the jet on standby, which means that we can be out of here right after the wedding tomorrow, wherever you want to go. When we left off in second season, you see Malcolm and Keisha ride off into the sunset in the helicopter. So for this season, for our first couple of episodes, you see that they've had this whirlwind romance that's been allowing them to travel the world. Now they're back in Atlanta. Does she want to stay? Does she want to go? Does he want to stay? What are they thinking? I miss Atlanta. I'm ready to come home. So why don't you? It's not just up to me. Malcolm loves to travel. What would I look like talking about I'm ready to settle down? And so I have some secrets that I'm keeping back, and so does he, and we get in this conversation, and it's like, well, I, I don't mind really staying back in Atlanta because I miss home, and I miss my friends, and I miss my life. I'm done with traveling for a while. Let's just stay in this suite, relax, and just figure out what's next. And he feels the same way. And we were actually keeping that from each other, which is, it allows you to know that communication is really key in a relationship. So there's another lesson that Keisha learns about her man, that they learn about each other.